What's up my kings, queens, and trolls of YouTube? This is your girl, Queen C, and I'm about to rant real fast. Because last night, um, it was a little bit, you know, late in the evening, maybe like 9, 10 o'clock. And yeah, that's late for me because my ass is old. Okay, moving right along. So, now, on Facebook, a lot of times, I don't really check my inboxes because I don't have time. And then when I do check it, it's always some dumb stuff, some forward pass warning this. It's like spam to me. And when you pass that kind of stuff, you know, it's, it's it, you're linking yourself to other people um, and you're sending it to other people for them to potentially be hacked and um, you know, like like uh what is that 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 spam like how people be like you know hacking your account and then posting spam on your friends walls and stuff like that all those little uh send me this and send me that and you know send 20 times and all that kind of stuff and you'll be blessed that's bullshit and like i said it's also um ways for hackers to get to your friends and start hacking your account hacking your friends account so i don't do that kind of stuff so therefore since the majority of my um inboxes are full of that and um um, other dumb stuff like you know people warning me for stuff that's like from satire sites and stuff like that I ain't got time for it so either way last night you know I happened to go on to my messenger because I wanted to say something to one of my relatives in their inbox so when I go on my inbox I noticed I had an inbox from this guy um he said thanks for the ad now mind you you know I'm on YouTube so of course I'm trying to network build up my subscribers and all that kind of stuff so when people send me friend requests and stuff like that if I if I know them or we have mutual friends and stuff I'll accept the friend request because like I said I'm all about networking but at the same time I'm not single I'm a married woman so I don't really engage a lot of and do a lot of back and forth with other men in my inboxes because I feel as though that's disrespectful to my husband now other women you know y'all don't have to feel that way but out of transparency and respect for my husband I choose not to carry on with other men um in my inbox unless they're relatives or you know very close friends that me and my husband both know so anyway, I seen that the guy said thanks for the ad and then I clicked on it because I was going to say you're welcome and please, you know, subscribe to my channel or whatever. But then when I clicked on it, I noticed he left me another message saying, um, oh, you can't speak or you can't say hi or something like that. Like he was caught up in his feelings because I didn't acknowledge a message from him in my inbox. So I was going to respond to him and I, it wasn't going to be one of the nicest responses in the world because I don't do fuck boys and I don't play games with people. I do not like bullshit. So if you in your feelings because I, as a married woman, didn't have the opportunity to get back to you on a social media inbox, you got problems. And I'm going to have to let you know that. But he deleted me as a friend. So I couldn't send him a message in, the, in his inbox. But that was cool. I basically just blocked him. But I just, you know... As a woman, I just want to say to you guys out there, again, we're, we're in a, um, a world of, of technology, new age stuff, and, you know, communication is different all across the board. You know, a lot of, a lot of us are, um, you know, not making phone calls and texting, which I prefer. Text me, please. I do not like talking to people on the phone. I, 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 I avoid that at all, you know, cost because I'm just, I'm an introvert and I'm not a phone person. But either way, back to what I was talking about initially, um... We communicate differently than we've done, you know, in the past. And some of you gentlemen need to understand that if a woman doesn't get back to you in a social media inbox, it doesn't mean that she's stuck up. It doesn't mean that she's trying to be ignorant. And if she was, so what? So what? She don't want to talk to you. She don't want to talk to you for whatever the reason or she has she doesn't have time to get back to you at that moment But whatever her reason is there is no reason for you to follow up and say some stupid stuff Because a woman has not responded to you like don't be dehydrated like that's really like it, it, it's so Corny and it just it, it, it made me look at this dude like he was a bum like you corny as hell Like what the hell is wrong with you? You getting salty because a woman doesn't respond to you in a timely fashion to your message Like who the fuck do you think you are? You are not that important. You are not that serious And I think that you know, there's a level of ignorance right now with with certain men in general when approaching females, whether it be via inbox or whether it be in person, like like some of you guys are are just not taking being ignored or rejection well. And a woman, if if a woman has a man or a husband 
or she's just not interested, she has that right. Just because a woman speaks to you nicely or smiles and nods her head at you does not mean she's automatically obligated to be interested in you. So some of y'all need to stop you know, being all up in your feelings and acting like little bitches and, and recognize that if a woman ignores your attempts at whatever communication it is you're trying to convey, so what? Move on. Move on. But to get mad and to have something else to say when you don't even really know this woman is so unnecessary and it makes you look like a bitch-made-ass punk. That's what it makes you look like. Excuse my French, but I'm keeping it real. On these types of subjects, I got to call it as I see it. I cannot consider a man a man when he gets his feelings hurt because a woman does not respond to him in, in the time that he feels as though she should respond. I, I cannot, like... I can't sugarcoat that. There's no way in the world for me to sugarcoat that. That's like bitch behavior. You you getting, you know, all up in your feelings and then you want to respond and like, eh, well, I'm going to delete you then because you didn't respond to my message on social media in your inbox. Like, grow up. Grow up. Are you a man or are you a mouse? Like, grow the hell up and stop getting all salty. For every woman that doesn't want to talk to you on social media, there's probably about two or three that will. So why even give it the energy to be negative? Take take whatever feeling you have of this woman not responding or engaging you and just look at it as, okay, she's not interested. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. That's all. But the, to, to take the time and the energy to go back and kind of like, you know, be ignorant or disrespectful, that's corny as hell. That's corny as hell and you're whack for that. You're whack as shit. And, and nine chances out of ten, if you're that whack, a woman that's trying to get to know you won't get to know you for too much longer because eventually your bitch assness will come up again and she will see it for herself. So, grow a set of balls, learn how to take rejection. Stop getting mad at these women because they don't they're not interested in you. Um I think like a lot of a lot of men are aren't being raised right now. They well, I can't even say men. A lot of boys are just not being raised right nowadays. Like like when you catching feelings and you want to punch a girl in the face, call a girl a bunch of bitches and call a girl a bunch of hoes because she don't want to entertain your advances, it's really something mentally wrong with you. You are mentally disturbed and somebody did not teach you that you cannot have everything you want. Because a real man, if he approaches a woman and a woman declines his efforts, he he'll be like, "Okay, well, you know, thank you. Have a nice day." Whatever whatever, whatever, and move on. Now, I do know that there are some women who could be stuck up, snotty, nasty, ignorant, and disrespectful, but you got to understand this. Men, a man's job is to lead, and a man's job is to, you know, have, have patience and understanding with women. Women right now are getting to the point to, to where they're afraid they're afraid to, to talk to you because they don't know how to respond to, to your advances if they're not interested in you because they don't know if you're going to go to hell off on them. They don't know if they're getting ready to get cussed out if they decline. They don't know. So a lot of them just flat out be nasty because they don't no, they just don't know what you're going to do and they don't want to be bothered. Like just because a woman is outside and she's pretty doesn't automatically uh, uh, mean that she is looking for a man or that she wants to be bothered. It does not mean that. She's just out. She's living her life. She's doing whatever she's doing, whether she's shopping, going to work, whatever the case may be. She's just out. So just because you see her and you find her attractive does not mean that she's going to have to see you and find you attractive just because you approach her. That's not how it goes. And when and when men are approaching women like I said a lot of women have had some bad experiences and they get into the point to where you know they're they're, they're afraid to, to to respond they're afraid to be nice because if they if they're nice then all of a sudden you know you're trying to force you know exchanging numbers and force you know um conversation and stuff like that when that's not what they want to do they just initially want to be you know like hi I'm good you know have a nice day because they're not trying to be ignorant but after so many times when a woman no longer feels comfortable with declining respectfully and properly they start getting attitudes and they put up this front because they don't know how you're going to act because again when a woman declines a man and a man gets offended because he feels like well why what's wrong with me whatever 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 then they want to be like well fuck you bitch and this is that and the third I've seen it I've experienced it I remember a long time ago me and my cousin went to this bar and we were meeting a couple friends there and we were just going you know have a drink grab some appetizers or whatever so we're sitting there and it was it was like pouring down raining pouring down rain in this one night so we're sitting there and we're like in a little bar restaurant we're sitting in a booth so these guys come in and when they walk in they walk in like just ugh, like 
no class, no nothing, just straight up. Bleh. That's all I could say. I don't want to say no stereotypical names or nothing like that, but they just came in and, and their vibe was funky. It was gutter. It was like just street. It was just nothing I wanted to be a part of, nothing I wanted to be associated with. So they came over. They didn't come over and say, you know, how you ladies doing tonight? Can we buy you a drink? You know, can we sit here? Whatever. They just sat down <clears throat> right in the chair. And, and we're sitting over because, like I said, we're expecting two two male com companions to come over and sit with us and they just all sit down their coats is wet they they nasty you know they they look all funky they, and they smell funky like cigarettes me and my, my cousin we don't smoke you know so then they sit down water shaking all over the table from their coats and stuff like that and then they just sit in there and then they start light up a cigarette and they start smoking and we're like excuse me but we don't we, we don't smoke so what's that mean and i wanted to say you know what you ignorant ass bastards if y'all get the fuck up and get out of here but i didn't because i knew that probably one of them would have tried to do something to my face because that's how ignorant men are that do not know how to accept rejection but you got to understand you Sometimes your approach and stuff like that makes a woman uncomfortable. It makes them uncomfortable. It, you know, all some women don't mind a dude just coming up and, and like a damn caveman and knocking them over the head and dragging them down the street by their ponytail or whatever. Some women don't mind that. But then you have women with class. And women with class don't want no ignorant ass bastard coming and plopping down next to them, lighting up a cigarette and grunting like a damn zoo animal. Some women don't want that. And, and when you see a woman, you can tell kind of by the way she's carrying herself what you know she's interested in and what she's not interested in if you come in and you looking like a damn grizzly bear haven't had a haircut in 12 years or a shave and you walking around smoked out and funky looking and you see a woman in nice clothes smelling good hair done up nice and looking cute and professional and stuff like that what makes you think she wants you plopping down next to her for you to start grunting and talking crazy so it's like y'all, y'all, like some of y'all guys out there, y'all need to calm the hell down. Like y'all need to simmer down a little bit and be a little bit more respectful. And like I said, I'm not going to sit up here and say, you know, it ain't some women who just aren't, you know, stuck up and, and, and just automatically ignorant for no reason. But please consider this. Sometimes it's a defense mechanism because they're already on defense about how you're approaching them and, and, you know, what you're capable of. Um... I hope this helps some of you guys out there that, that you know, be, be getting, like, you know, upset about women that, that you know, don't want to entertain you or whatever the case may be. Because, like I said, it's not that serious. If you're a good guy with a good heart and you're respectful and stuff like that and a woman's not interested in you, somebody else will definitely be interested in you. You just got to have patience. You know what I'm saying? You just got to, you know, take your time. Everybody is not going to be attracted to any everybody, but there is always somebody out there for everybody. Don't lose, you know, hope. Don't lose, you know, don't think because you get rejected once that you can't approach another woman. I mean, you just keep going. That's life. That's how it is. You know, men usually are the ones that are that that do the approaching and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you're going to get turned down a couple times. But for every three no's, there could possibly be a yes. Keep on looking for that yes. But don't get offended by the woman that does not want to say yes. You don't know her reason. You don't need to know her reason. All you need to know is she is not interested for whatever the case may be, she's not interested. It's no need to call her out her name. It's no need to be disrespectful to her. Even if she has a little bit of an attitude, that's her cross to bear. That's her cross to bear. She's funky. She's probably funky, single, and bitter, but just not attracted to you. So let her go ahead and be funky, single, and bitter. And if you're a good guy and she treated you like that, then that's her loss. That's her loss. You might have approached her and said something to her and she might have turned you down all stank and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if you're a good guy and you know you want a woman to treat right, that's her loss so do not get offended by it okay um you guys you know you can always email me if you have any input leave it in the comments email me at queencrishonda at gmail.com don't forget to like me on facebook at the queen sees hive and follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at queen Crescenda. have a good day guys and peace